Hi everyone, it's Tatiana from Tatiana's Everyday Food and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a very simple and delicious tiramisu cake roll. This is a little bit different from your traditional tiramisu since we're not going to be using ladyfingers. Instead, I'm going to be using my classic sponge cake recipe. So I have a complete separate video for how to make a perfect sponge cake every time and I'll uh, go in depth about you know all the all the steps all the instructions so if you want more instructions than what i'm going to show in this video simply click on the video link in the video description below and now for our sponge cake recipe so i have six large eggs that i've brought up to room temperature i'm going to place them into my mixer bowl i'm going to add three fourths cup of white granulated sugar and now we need to whisk the eggs and the sugar on high speed until they're very thick and pale and almost white in color. So my eggs are all done now and you can see how thick and pale they are and you wanna make sure that they reach this consistency so that your sponge cake turns out light and fluffy. For my flour, I have one cup of all-purpose flour. I'm also gonna add one teaspoon of baking powder in there. Just mix it up together. I'm gonna to pour it into a fine mesh strainer and I'm just gonna gently sift it in and fold it in with my spatula, just a little bit at a time. This way, your flour and the eggs are gonna be well incorporated. You're not gonna have any clumps. You wanna do this very gently so that the eggs don't fall flat. And now we're ready to pour in our cake batter and you wanna do this as soon as you have it ready. Just gently fold it onto the pan. You just want to spread it gently to the edges. And now our sponge cake just needs to go into a preheated oven. Uh, it's at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 12 to 15 minutes, just until it's nice and golden brown on the top. I just took my cake out of the oven and from here I need to work quickly. So I'm going to run my knife along the edge of the pan just to loosen it. And you want to do this while it's hot. And now we just need to shape our cake. So I'm gonna spread a large towel over the top of the cake. I'm gonna use my other towels to flip it over. Just like that. I'm gonna lift off my pan. If they'll let me, there you go. All right, and I'm gonna pull off my parchment paper. discard that and now we're ready to shape our cake so what I like to do is I like to fold some into the inside here and you need to do this while it's hot and then just very gently just roll it all into one big jelly roll just use the towel to help you along just like that and now I'm just gonna place it onto my cooling rack and this needs to cool completely before we fill it so while our cake roll is cooling, we could start working on our filling. Today we're going to be making an egg yolk based tiramisu filling with egg yolks, sugar, mascarpone cheese, and heavy cream. For this recipe, we're going to be using one cup of granulated sugar. I'm going to pour it into a stainless steel bowl and we're going to need seven large egg yolks. Just pour everything in. And I'm gonna give this a good whisk. I'm gonna need to cook my egg yolks over a double boiler. So I just filled a small saucepan with about two to three cups of water. I'm gonna bring it to a simmer. And you wanna just to keep it simmering. You don't wanna keep it boiling. And if it starts boiling, just turn the heat down. And once it's simmering, just place your bowl over the water and just whisk your egg yolks. And you need to whisk them for about 10 minutes. They're gonna start turning up a nice pale color and they're gonna thicken up even more. So my egg yolks are almost done and you can see how pale they are in color. They're thickened. And this process is just gonna cook the egg yolks and it's gonna start melting that sugar. Just whisk it. It takes about 10 minutes and a lot of elbow grease. <laughs> my wrist really hurts. Uh, but this is gonna make a really fantastic and classic tiramisu filling. As soon as my egg yolks are done, I'm gonna pour them into my stand mixer bowl and then I'm gonna whisk them on high speed until they're light and fluffy. Just scrape everything into there. To my egg yolks, I'm gonna add one and a half cups of mascarpone cheese. So it's about 12 ounces and I've taken it out of the refrigerator. Just let it soften up to room temperature. And I'm just gonna add it in all at once. 
and whisk it until it's well combined with these egg yolks. And mascarpone is kind of like cream cheese, except it's sweeter. So, I mean, if you're in a pinch and you don't have any mascarpone cheese, um, you can always use cream cheese. It's gonna be a little bit more tart, but it should work for this recipe. And I'm also gonna add about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. It's gonna add some great flavor. Once your cheese custard is ready, and it should be nice and smooth, you shouldn't have any clumps. I'm going to transfer it into a separate bowl. Unless you have two mixer bowls, you could just keep it in this one. I'm going to transfer it into a separate bowl and place it in the refrigerator and just let it cool and set up just a little bit. Once your cake rolled is cooled and your custard is set and it needs to set for 30 minutes in the refrigerator, we need to whisk two cups of cold heavy cream in our stand mixer and just whisk it for a few minutes until it stiff peaks form, but make sure you don't over whisk it. And now I can start adding my egg yolk and my cheese custard and just add it a little bit at a time and just fold it in gently after each addition until it's well combined. I'm going to reserve a good portion of this cream to use it as my topping. I'm just gonna set it aside in a separate bowl I'm going to keep it refrigerated until I'm ready to use it. And now for the coffee flavor in our tiramisu cake. So we need uh, one cup of freshly brewed strong coffee or espresso. In this case, I just used my French press, which works great. And I'm using half a cup of Frangelico liqueur. So this is a, a sweet hazelnut flavored liqueur. Um, if you don't like the sweetness of it, you can always use Kahula, or if you want something that's even stronger, you can always use like a cognac or a rum. Uh, whatever flavor you would like to add into the cake, but I think this is a great addition. I like the flavor profile for this. So I'm gonna add my Frangelico into my coffee, give this a stir, and we're gonna use this um, to soak our cake layer with. All right, and now we're ready to assemble our cake. So go ahead and unroll your sponge cake. Very gently, make sure you don't break it. There you go. And now I'm gonna take my coffee in Frangelico liqueur uh, mixture and I'm just gonna soak my sponge cake very generously. Just use a spoon, just kind of spoon it all over the cake. I'm just gonna spread my filling generously and you wanna leave about an inch around the sides. Just drop it here in the center and just use your spatula and spread it over evenly. I just love this cake because it's so simple. You know, it doesn't require any elaborate um, assembly of any kind. You know, just spread your cream and it's good to go. And now for the fun part of rolling a cake. Now you want to roll it up the same way that you did when you rolled it up into the towel, simply because that's the way that it's shaped and you don't want to break any of the sponge cake. So just use the towel and start at one end and just gently kind of fold it over. Use your hands and kind of roll it up. If you have extra cream coming out the sides, it's perfectly okay. You can always clean it up later. Just roll it up like this. There you go. And now I'm just gonna gently transfer my cake roll onto the platter I'm gonna use to serve it with. So just gently transfer it over. It's a little tricky since the sponge cake is soaked with coffee. But there you go. I'm gonna use a little bit of my remaining frosting just to give the cake a crumb coat and just smooth out any imperfections on the outside. And also to seal off the ends. So just spread it with a flat spatula along the edges here. And now for decorating our cake. So I've placed the rest of my frosting into a pastry bag tipped with a circle tip. And this is just a fun way you could decorate it. You don't have to do it this way, but I thought it'd be something fun and unique um, to do. So I'm gonna place a little dollop of frosting in a row all along the cake. I'm gonna do this all the way down to the bottom. And I'm gonna take a coffee spoon and just gently drag it across like this. I'm sure some of you have seen this decorating technique like on Pinterest and Instagram. I thought it'd be really cool to make this um, with my tiramisu cake. And it's really easy to do and it, it looks very elegant and very complicated, but it's so easy to do. So just do that all the way across the cake.
And you want to use a small spoon for this. And this is how the cake looks after you've made that pattern all the way across. And I love how elegant and how simple it is. It's a fantastic finish to this cake. I'm just gonna finish off the ends here to make sure everything looks great. And then I'm gonna place this into the refrigerator and just let it set overnight or for at least a couple hours so those flavors can really redistribute and that frosting can set up just a little bit more. And then uh, when you're ready to serve it, we're gonna dust it with a little bit of cocoa powder on the top. For the last step, right before you're serving your cake, what you wanna do is place a little bit of dark cocoa powder into a fine mesh strainer. Just a little bit will do. And then just tap on the surface. And you wanna just dust everything very evenly all the way across. And now for the fun part, we get to eat it. So I like to get a little bit of everything and I like lots of frosting on my cake here. Mm. This tastes so, so good. I love all that light and airy sponge cake and that, you know, that flavor that's soaked into it from the coffee and the frangelico. And that cream is just so delicious. It's out of this world. It's really light and fluffy and it has that nice, mascarpone custard flavor. And that vanilla also gives it a great flavor. Just love, love this. It just kind of melts in your mouth. Mm. Such a great dessert and it's so easy to make. This would be perfect for, you know, a nice get together or a dinner party, especially during the holiday season. Perfect cake recipe to make. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and share with your family and friends. Hope to see you guys next time.